In this episode, you will learn UK double crochet, which is US single crochet, working in rows, how to correct your work and how to tie off. It's important to know that there is a difference in UK and US terms. The techniques are the same, they're just different terminology. Being aware of this from the beginning will help you when learning to crochet. We're going to start off by creating a slip knot. We went through this in the last video, so please feel free to go back to that if you want this in a little bit more detail. But I will go through it now again. You're going to wrap the yarn around your finger and create an X and pinch that in between your finger and thumb. Take the yarn, which is still attached to the ball of yarn, and wrap it around your finger and again pinch between your finger and thumb. Take the back loop and pull it over your front loop and there you have your slip knot. We're now going to take our crochet hook and we're going to insert that into the slip knot and pull nice and tight and go ahead and get ready to create your chain. So we're going to create a chain of 11 for our foundation chain and then we're going to build our stitches on top of there. So go ahead and yarn over and bring your hook through your chain. That's one. Yarn over and pull through, two, yarn over and pull through, three. Remember if you need any extra help with this, go back to the last video. Move your fingers up as you are creating your chain. Yarn over, pull through, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We now have our foundation chain of eleven and we're going to work our stitches into here. So let's have a look at our chains and see where we're going to work into. As you look at your chains you will see they look like V's. So we're going to work into the second chain from the hook. We do not count this first chain on the hook. This is our first chain and this is our second chain. We're going to be working into the top loop. There are different aspects that you can work into the chain but as a beginner I would recommend to work here. Pinch where this chain finishes because this will help to stop from making this chain too tight as you're working along. So go ahead and insert your hook into that top loop. You will look like you have two chains on the hook. Yarn over and pull through and then you will have two chains on the hook. Try not to pull too tight on your tension strand and try not to pull too much on your hook. This will make the stitch too tight. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops on the hook and that is a double crochet. Remember, in the US, that is known as a single crochet. I'm going to move my finger over and insert my hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. That is our second stitch. Move your finger along, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. That's our third stitch. Move over once more, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. We now have four stitches, and we're going to do the same all the way until the end of our chain, and we will end up with 10 double crochets. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Remember to pinch your stitches as you work along and this will help your work to stop becoming too tight. We now have three stitches left. One, two, three, 
and three. So you've now created your first row of double crochet. Well done. This is actually the hardest row to do and the next rows actually get a lot easier. What we want to do to move on to our next row is chain one. So yarn over and pull through. You're then going to turn your work and you're going to do this like a book. We're now going to work our way across this row and work into the tops of these stitches. So as I pull these stitches apart, you can see that there is a space just here. And then as you move across, there is a space here and all the way across. If I tilt my work this way, you can see the Vs on top of the stitch and this is just like a chain. So we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into that first space just here. But this time, because it's a stitch, you will look like you have three loops on the hook. These two are just um, squished together. So you've inserted your hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops. You want to move over onto your next stitch, insert your hook. Remember, it will look like you have a V just here, and then another stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to work my way all the way to the end of this row, doing exactly the same thing. I will have 10 stitches in total when I come to the end. I have just done nine stitches and my 10th stitch is going to be in the end here. This stitch can look slightly different to the rest of them, so you just want to find where the end is. I've inserted my hook and I can see that V shape on my hook just here. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through. You have now just done your second row of double crochet. So next we move on to our row three. And it's exactly the same thing. Yarn over, pull through, turn your work like a book. You're going to insert your hook into the first chain. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook. And yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. You're going to repeat the same thing that you have been doing all the way along. Sometimes you might make a mistake and this is okay, it can be easily undone. The way that you do this is by removing your hook from the work. So I'm going to remove my hook here and I'm going to pull on this yarn. You can see that this just takes the stitches back out. Once you get back to a stitch, you will see that you're left with a loop sticking out like this. You just insert your hook into that loop and then start again. I'm going to continue to build a few more rows so that you can see what this swatch will look like and then show you how to tie off your work. I have now built my sample swatch to 10 rows and if you want to count your rows, you can simply see them here. You have a couple of different ridges going up. So we have one and then it dips in slightly, that's two. It comes back out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to tie off my yarn now and the way that you do this is you want to yarn over and pull through. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to take your scissors and you want to leave a fairly good end. Snip off your yarn and then pull that stitch out. You've just created a knot in your work at the end there. 
You want to sew in your ends, so take your darning needle and insert your yarn. You're simply going to weave this back and forth into your work. I like to use the rule of three because I know that it's not going to come undone. So I've just weaved that needle in between the fibres of the yarn. Don't pull too tightly or if you do just pull the work back so that you're not pulling on the stitches like so. Weave back the opposite way and try and catch some different fibres. And then you're just going to do that once more and weave back the opposite way. Take your scissors and snip off the excess yarn. You can then do the same with the opposite side. So there you have your double crochet or single crochet if you are in the US. I would highly recommend that you practice this stitch over and over until you become comfortable with it. Then we can introduce more stitches which I will be introducing in the next few videos. Up next will be the treble crochet which is a UK term. In the US this is known as a double crochet so make sure to check back and follow that tutorial once you feel ready.